on this quick troubleshoot of the contactor here's our first issue we come out onto the unit there's nothing happening and we note this bar is all the way down so that means the contactor is energized and I can determine if the contactor is actually energized by going across here and I'm reading my low voltage that's on the coil uh, terminal if I want to find out because I know the power is coming out here from the indoor unit and I want to find out what's going on here I will go here and that's the input that's coming from inside the structure I got zero okay one contact here one contact here zero volts do not go to chassis ground don't fool chassis ground this will just get you in trouble uh, so okay there's no power so in this case all I've done is shut off the breaker I kick the breaker on bingo you got power so the only problem with this thing was simply that uh, the power was off could be blown fuse uh, could be a breaker kicked off in the panel or uh, in the outdoor disconnect so any of those things could have happened and that uh, that's your uh, symptoms for that okay in this case we again have the contactor the uh, bar has pulled down we have our uh, low voltage power to it but in this case we have power to the uh, contactor coming in but when I go across up here there's none coming out I could go across here and I should read voltage there because anytime there's an open switch and everything else is good you should see power across the switch we go over it again powers coming in 240 power coming out zero that means my problem is right here now this one is uh, what we call a bug in the contacts now I've imitated a bug here but uh, there's a piece of uh, tape underneath this contact occasionally spiders and earwigs and the like will get into these contactors and the contactor will make thereby squishing the bug and uh, the bug insulates and it doesn't make most of the time you can just scrape the bug out and it'll work sometimes it does trash the uh, contacts because it makes partial contact on it but that's the next one power coming in no power coming out uh, you know the problem has to be right here because you put your probes there and they're reading voltage across the switch that means the switch has to be open okay our next problem is we come out to the unit and the unit won't shut off even though I've turned the thermostat off the unit is still running fans running compressors running so on so I come out here and I take a check across these set of contacts and I read zero okay that means there's no 24 volt coming out here and yet the contactor is still closed and you can see the contactor is down okay all that means is the uh, contactor has welded shut sometimes you can uh, tweak it a little bit with a screwdriver and it'll pop loose you do have to replace it there's no way the thing will survive that way because uh, it'll stick again and our last uh, contactor problem would be if you came out here showed power here you've got your 24 volts or whatever control voltage on but the contactor never made uh, there I would uh, disconnect the wires off the coil of the contactor and then uh, ohm out the contact with your ohmmeter and that'll tell you if your coil is open and that's about it for troubleshooting the contactor